Hi. In this video, I am demonstrating how to turn on and turn off one or more AWS EC2 instances using AWS API Gateway and Lambda. Let's start with creating a policy. The policy allows Lambda to turn on and turn off the EC2 instances. Once the policy has been created, we need to create a role and attach the policy we just created. Now let's create an EC2 instance for this demo. For the demo purpose, we don't need SSH access or installation of any software on it. Once you create an instance, please copy the instance ID. This instance ID needs to be used when creating the REST API. Now, let's create a Lambda function with Python. Note the function name. We need the name of the function when we create the REST API. Use the IAM role we created earlier. Use Python code from my GitHub and deploy the function. Next we need to whitelist our IPs. Find your public IP and add it to the environment variable. We only want to invoke this function from known IPs. Let's create the API. Make sure you choose the non-private REST API. Create resources based on your requirements. I am using get method so that we can use this API on the web browsers. Please make sure you enter the correct Lambda region and function name. Now let's add the mapping template. The mapping template is available on my GitHub account.
If you are still watching this, then I hope you enjoying this video and learning something. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts, please comment below. I am deploying the API. You can complete adding all the API resources and methods and then you only have to deploy it. Please complete the final resource and method and deploy the API. You can create as many resources as you wish. For example, you can create a resource to see the status of the EC2 instances. For that, you may need to modify the Lambda function. The IAM policy already has the required permission for that. Let's test our setup now. As you can see, the EC2 instance is running. Let's stop the instance using the API URL. We successfully stopped the instance. Let's start once it completely stopped. The instance has started using our API. Now, let's try the same API URL after changing the public IP. The API only works from whitelisted IPs such as your office static IP. You can add or remove IPs from the Lambda environment variable side. I am adding my current IP to the environment variable. Let's test the API URL after adding it. After adding the current IP, the API URL works as expected. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.